Hello everyone, and uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Pokemon Unite. I had a video planned, and as I was editing it, it just got to the point where it was going to be really, really long, and we'll probably still get back around to that later on, but uh, anyway, Pokemon Unite, I've played around with this a little bit, and it's quite a bit of fun. Uh, so if you haven't had the opportunity to play it just yet, as long as you've got an internet connection, this is free to play, so I would highly recommend it. But let's go ahead and jump into a match and see uh, how things go. We're just going to go with a random team in a standard battle. Uh, maybe I'll mess around with the ranked stuff later on. Ready? Go! Alright, let's see what attacks Gengar has. We've got Will-O-Wisp and Lick. Interesting. We opted for Lick, and apparently that took Will-O-Wisp away from us. I think that's the way that this tends to work uh, off the very start. Let's team up with the Bulbasaur here. He's got his uh, Razor Leaf going on there. Ah, we can now use our Will-O-Wisp. And it gives burn damage, which is excellent. Alright, we've got that craw down. And we managed to save our uh, teammate Score Bunny here uh, from that uh, attacking Snorlax from the other team there, which is uh, nice because I'm sure that he was on the verge of going down. Ah, uh, Haunter. Let's go ahead with our Shadow Ball. Gets rid of our Will-O-Wisp, which is not what I was hoping for. But we can get a decent score here. And let's go ahead and attack into the Snorlax. Oh, did he get away? That's unfortunate. Oh, we did get him. Um, we've got to retreat and heal back up. The rest of our team's doing very well there. But that also means that we're probably going to start seeing a push on the top edge. I don't know if Dream Eater gives us any health back. It does uh, put the opponent to sleep, which is pretty good. There we are. And now we are Gengar. Alright, let's get on, on the Vespaquin here. Wow, that Sorora has a large area of effect on his attack there. Oh, we are just chewing through that Snorlax. And let's keep attacking into the Crawdont and other attackers here. I do like that that's a Diglett, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense where uh, him digging up launches me that high into the air. That does heal me if you land the Dream Eater. That's really awesome, actually. I like upon I like characters that are sustainable. Shadow Ball Plus, that's really good to see. We're going to have the Zapdos coming into the center here in just a brief moment. We just barely managed to get through that guy. And now we have the advantage from having taken him down so we can get instant scoring. Oh, and that Talonflame swooped in out of nowhere and just decimated me. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get a nice big score here, hopefully. 
that allows us to Time's up. tilt the tide of the fight, and it wasn't really needed. Uh, but that's extra points that certainly uh, were good to help make sure that we did secure the victory on that. Okay, Zorora is a very interesting character because uh, he gives us the option to really uh, run down on opponents very quickly. And, uh, you know, healing after every round of combat is uh, interesting as well. Lucario and I, we should both be able to score a lot right here. Um, we're going to go with Spark. Because Slash is a nice little move for closing in on the opponents from what I've seen here. Whoa! Zorora just absolutely decimating here. We've got a shield. And that Alolan Ninetales went down fast. Alright, we'll have this, uh, this guy running around with us. Might as well. Yeah, we're really struggling because one of our teammates has been out and absent for a while. Can I get you to score here, Venusaur? Yes, I can. And that's going to destroy that goal. Oh, we didn't lose by that much. But it doesn't help the fact that we had a teammate down. But now that I know that's a thing, I can grab uh, that teammate a lot earlier if we do happen to have one that leaves. Alright, let's head out and uh, see how Lucario lets on. He's the melee type brawler character, so that is already more along the lines of uh, some of the combat that I prefer here. Can we get them? We can. And let's go ahead and get this score here, Pikachu, you and me. Nice work. I really like these uh, up-close brawlers. Uh, close combat. That's going to be our winner here. We've got these uh, combis hanging out. But we can take out this slow bro very easily. And then double team this Pikachu with our own Pikachu friend here. Nice work there. Nice work on the close combat there. And now the Rotom is here to help. Yeah, you should pick up those. See, he seems tanky, but he doesn't get as uh, many hits in as you'd think that he would for being uh, the tank of the team. All right, Pikachu, we just need a few more hits and uh, points here. Ooh, slow bro down again. Now let's just uh, finish off this Buffalant here. And we'll destroy another goal zone with the points that we have available. Uh, yes, please power up my power up punch more. We've got Aura Sphere unlocked. I'm excited to see how that works. Uh, let's... 
scope, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to give the battle with me command to the teammate that left, because we know how that worked last time. Looks like the Haunter is the one that's disappeared and he's uh, coming to tag along with me. It's unfortunate that he's uh, that low of a level, but we should be able to catch him up now that he's tagging along. Let's get down to this Dreadnought. Hey, we got the AFK member back up to Gengar. And let's go ahead and score a couple of baskets here. Gengar doesn't have very much, but it's better than nothing. Ooh, that was not great. But because we're double teaming this Charizard here, we are able to take him out. Let's get our health up. And yes, please power up my close combat. Come on, guys, we can get this, we can get this, and that's gonna give us a huge advantage headed in. All right, massive points available to us here. And we can score them instantly upon rushing into this goal zone. Instant scoring. Nice work there. Let's, uh... Oh, we just completely won by annihilating all of their goal zones. Um, but I think that that is definitely something to keep an eye on. If you're in a round and you have a teammate disconnect, uh, just as quickly as you notice it, go ahead and pick him up because he's going to make a game changing difference for you instead of just sitting uh, spawnless. I really like that that's a mechanic that's been added here. But I think that is going to go ahead and do it for today's little video. If you enjoyed, make sure that you leave a like as uh, that would let me know if there's uh, more content like this that you'd like to see in the future. And I will get back into that other series uh, and condense it down to the point where it's not going to be as tedious to watch through. But thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.